All right, guys, you're looking at the thumbnail, you're looking at the title of the video, you already know what time it is. It is time to get active. Guys, not too long ago, Carrie Hilson was trending, so we're going to go down there and take a look. I found this posted at the Shade Room. If you want to take a look, I'll leave a link to this down in the description box down below. So it reads, men who provide emotional security and display wise leadership will get the softest, most feminine, relaxed, trusting, guard down, submissive, nurturing version of their woman. Okay. It goes on to read, even successful, strong women want to feel safe enough to be soft that is our true nature the man who makes me feel safe will have the world okay guys uh what essentially she is talking about right here is one of the foremost things that plague modern women today and i absolutely believe and think this and it's this idea which seems to be ridiculously prevalent in the western world western society this idea of conditional femininity femininity with conditions only if certain prerequisites are met then i will be submissive i will let my guard down i will be trusting i will be relaxed i will be at my highest degree of femininity <laughs> oh really okay instead of responding directly to that let's flip that around let's say that this earth operated on the idea of conditional masculinity let's just say that i would not be a protector i would not give you security i was not logical i am not financially responsible i am not disciplined in the way that i think about different things let's say that it was flipped that men weren't doing those things unless the woman was innately and always showing a degree of femininity. This world would be a much, much different place. This assumption that men need to hit some type of laundry list of prerequisites in order to unlock the true nature of a woman is complete and utter bullshit. Now, with concessions because there are situations that men can bring women through that makes them close down and get into their wounded masculine but we're talking about the modern lady today which much more often than not leads with these masculine components about their personality as driven by the media that they look into and the exponential multiplicative effect of those that surround them within their inner circle it is more rare than not to find truly feminine women at the onset men today are shamed for not bringing inherent masculine characteristics and traits into heterosexual relationships from the onset so much so that dudes normally are in tune with this idea of masculinity and my argument is is way more dudes are working in on and honing their masculine energy than women but for some reason women think that this idea of if i see a man doing this i can just get down into my natural as if there's not components about your femininity that has not been mired by the way you just sit within your masculinity throughout your life 
It is not natural to you. Just like we have content over here to build up dudes to help them understand, be accountable for the way that they roll within their life, to work in on and enhance their masculinity, women are not doing the same by and large and not in mass. And you expect those that are currently dealing with the emotional PTSD of the culture and a society that continues to lie and pander to them. If you expect those that at the point that they realize from a dude, emotional security and wise leadership, they're just going to femininity. No, that's just not going to happen. And that's the major issue and problem with the modern lady today. The same modern lady that won't get courtesy classes. She won't take cooking classes. And she damn near has a conniption when she hears about the things that men want out of women. Absurd. Support for today's video was brought to you by Manscaped, who are the champions in below the waist grooming. Guys, they just sent me over their latest release called the Lawnmower. 4.0 and I'm simply blown away by its performance and embedded technology. Not only do they offer wireless charging, but also no nick technology, which is vastly important for protecting the family jewel. Shit, not too long ago, invited a pretty young thing over for an evening of fun, enjoyment, and excitement. Okay. Evening of, I tried to clean up the space, clean up the area with the old tool kit, the old tool set, and almost gave myself a vasectomy. Had to cancel the evening because of it. Because you know, never bring a wound to a thought party, okay? It's bad for business. Guys, go up to manscaped.com, use promo code MTR to receive not only 20% off of your order, but also free shipping. Trust me, guys, your balls will thank you. On to the show. Because now we have our own content and men are starting to understand their own power, that they are the prize as well, that men hold the absolute keys to the relationship. So if men are actively working on themselves, but women are passive within that, but we hold the keys to relationships while y'all hold the keys to sex. Why is it incumbent on men to be active while y'all are the table? So I asked the modern lady today, looking at a post like this, and I know it makes y'all feel like a million bucks because all it's talking about is what can dudes provide to you? OK, when dudes have been working actively on their masculinity. But if you look down deep within what it is that you provide and outside of saying that you are the table, is the word submissive even in your vocabulary? Is it even? Are you looking for a leader or are you looking for a partner? And this is why you guys go so deeply unchosen for so long, regardless of what it is that you actually look like if you didn't catch a simp years before. And then two, have you figured it out young enough to increase the likelihood of finding the dude that you actually want before you get to a Carrie Hilson's age and your options dwindle? Because guys, I'm going to say it from my perspective as well, if I had an opportunity to kick it one-on-one -on -one with Carrie Hilson, would I, semi-valuable, not known, except for y'all, <laughs> MTR, would I date Carrie Hilson? Three to four years my senior? No! No! Not seriously. For, for the guts? For the viscous innards? Yeah, sure. We'll have a great time. But seriously? Mm-mm. No, I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't. Especially <laughs> if I look at posts like this. I already tell you, she's a tough cookie to deal with. Do I want to insert myself within someone else's life? That's a tough cookie. No. Why would I want to do that? I want an easy, joyous, happy life. Not someone to continuously challenge with her requirements. And although she makes it real simple up here, I'd argue that there are a lot more than this. Because if not, she'd already be married. Questions, comments, concerns. 
Y'all already know what to do. Mediocre tutorials and reviews at gmail.com. Guys, did I get this one right? Did I get it wrong? Put it down in the description box. Excuse me, in the comment box down below. We got to have a healthy conversation regarding this one. I know there's about seven and a half ladies on this channel right now. Guys, I want to hear you guys' thoughts as well. I might pin one of y'all <laughs> if y'all have something decent to say or something shameful, then I'll give you the pin of shame. All right, guys, this was sent to me on my Instagram, link down below. Go and follow your boy. Continue to send me awesome stuff. Last but not least, I got a Patreon where it's an inner circle. It's a community of amazing and awesome and dope people who are working on building themselves from where they are right now to get to a future state version of themselves that's better than it was before and that's regarding your masculinity financial education dating relationships what have you okay come and join the inner circle for like-minded people who are just like me all right until next time youtube peace